I got to go to my, my high school up in Grayson County, Kentucky, after we recorded that in the studio and actually had the, the high school chorus do those na-nas in the recording. So did a little uh, Pink Floyd, another brick in the wall kind of thing, I guess. But uh, it was so cool to include some kids from where I come from on the record. This is Live at the Hall from the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum. This week, songwriter and recording artist Elvie Shane performs and shares the stories behind his songs in the museum's Ford Theater. I want to play a little bit of a rowdier song. This was the first song that I wrote that really pointed me in the direction of how I wanted this record to go. Got a public education, but it didn't come from class. It came from long rides home on the bus in the back. We would learn how to cuss from them high school kids. Throw a punch, take a punch, steal a kiss. Yeah, she had two years on me the day I turned 16. I had a fox body Mustang. She had a body like a dream. We ran on Young Love, good music, cheap gasoline Found out you can still go too far, even when the tank's on E Here's to the lessons that don't come cheap To the long lost lovers in the shotgun seats Here's to the wild and the restless souls Who got their street smarts running down them County roads, county roads Sure, put a wrench in my plans, but daddy said good help was hard to find. I guess I stood up one too many Friday nights. She ended up in a truck with a buddy of mine. Yeah, here's to the lessons that don't come cheap, to the long lost lovers in the shotgun seats. Here's to the wild and the restless souls who got their street smarts running down him. County roads, county roads, county roads. Na 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 na. Here's to the herd from that first thing over. Had us all swearing we forever stay sober. Here's to the scrapes and the dents and the scars on our boots, our cars, our reckless hearts. Yeah, here's to the lessons that don't come cheap. To the long lost lovers in the shotgun seats. Here's to the wild and the restless souls who got their street smarts running down them county roads, county roads. County roads, county roads, yeah. county roads. Na 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 couple of cool things about that song, too. I, I got to go to my, my high school up in Grayson County, Kentucky, after we recorded that in the studio and actually had the, the high school chorus do those na-nas in the recording. So did a little uh, Pink Floyd, another brick in the wall kind of thing, I guess. But uh, it was so cool to include some kids from where I come from on the record. So I wrote all these songs with, with friends of mine. Um, most of them became friends through writing songs with them. And uh, I just tried to tell my story and, and be as honest as possible. And, you know, sometimes you got to change the road or the car or the girl's name to uh, make it rhyme. But I tried to be very well connected to each and every story that we put into this song. And we put together, man, I don't know how many songs we wrote over the course of 
three or four years leading up to recording my record backslider probably two or three hundred but went in and started looking at them and and started seeing this this trend or this you know timeline of my life and so we split the record up into three different sections uh what i like to call the dazed and confused years the first section and that's just you know the coming of age years and growing up in rural kentucky and then I like to call the next section my Mandy years, which I hear little Mandy up there making some noise right now somewhere. But uh, that was when I met my wife and uh, how much she she changed my life. And more on that later. But then the Nashville years. And so we split it up into those three sections. And if you get a chance, if you haven't listened already, please go check out the record. And it is best enjoyed from the beginning to the end. But feel free to bounce around if you want to that's what I do anyway so I was saying that the Mandy years and the Mandy years don't start until the middle of the record but the record wouldn't have started without her coming around so I started the record with a very circular song that's just about all the things in life that uh I've ran from that inevitably led me right to her and right to where I am today. And <laughs> I seen a quote yesterday that said, you find your destiny on the road you take to avoid it. And I thought that was so cool and uh, so perfect. And the things that have been going on in my life and, and the opportunities that have ended up in front of me and the way that even though I have ran from God over the years, he's, he's found a way to use me in spite of myself. But one of the, the best things he ever did is put that woman in my, in my life. So wrote this song with a couple good buddies of mine, Doug Johnson and Adam Wood. It's called I Will Run. I have run from a woman I have run away from love I have run like the devil From the Lord above I have run from the darkness I have run from the light I have run into trouble and had to run for my life. No, I ain't the kind to slow down. I wasn't made to stay. This boy's restless heart goes crazy, beating too long in one place. But these days it's who I'm running to, not what I'm running from. Just say the word, just say the word, girl, I will run, I will run like the lightning, I will run through the storm, I will run right in your arms and lay down safe and warm. No, I ain't the kind to slow down. I wasn't made to stay. This boy's restless heart goes crazy, beating too long in one place. But these days it's who I'm running to, not what I'm running from. Just say the word. Just say the Oh, I 
This boy's restless heart goes crazy Beating too long in one place But these days it's who I'm running to Not what I'm running from Just say the word Just say the word Just say the word Thank you. Love you, baby. I think something that, the, the most important thing I think I have learned or developed since I've been here is just finding people who believe in you and are better at things than you are, certain things that you are. And I've, I've kind of got a slogan I've, I've lived by, and it sounds a little cheesy, but it's like... Uh, I like to keep people around me who are mighty where I am weak, you know, and it took a little bit of swallowing my pride and my ego to, to get to that point. I used to try to micromanage every little thing about how I wrote my songs, about how I did my business, how I booked shows, everything, and I think it just, you know, if, you, if you're going to do this, no one ever, self-made is the biggest bunch of malarkey I've ever heard in my life. You, nobody's self-made, and you can say you are, and and try to feel that pride if you want to, but there's always people that believed in you that helped you get on down the road somehow, some way. Even if it was just they were praying for you and you didn't know it, you know what I mean? So none of us are self-made. Just keep those people around you that believe in you and, and build you up no matter what you're doing. Man, I, I haven't been to my hometown but once in the last year, year and a half. Uh, that's about to change. I'm, I'm going back soon. Um, but I went back, I think it was back in October, uh, my hometown did the coolest thing for me. And they, they gave, they made, actually they made my older brother's birthday, LB Shane day in my hometown. So that was cool. Sorry, Clinton stole your thunder, bro. Uh, <laughs> but no, last year in February, my wife and I moved back to Eastern Kentucky where she's from. We, we, we actually live in Monticello, Kentucky. And um, we were living in a condo here in downtown Nashville, and I was just struggling to to feel like I I fit in and I related. I loved seeing the growth in in the city and and hearing and being a little bit more of a culturalized hillbilly, if you will. And you know, it, like I said, we we all think we're right about everything, but it turns out we never are. So it's it's cool to experience different cultures and people from different walks of life and make friends with those people and learn from them. But also, I feel like I, I write country music, and, and that demographic, you know, for the most part, I want to relate to everyone with the human experiences within my songs. But that demographic of people is, is who I love and who I grew up with and who I swung hammers with and changed tires with and worked on farms with. And I was missing that inspiration. And my wife actually brought that up to me and was like, you know, how, how can you really relate to the people you're trying to be a voice for if we're living in this condo in downtown Nashville all the time. So we are back in Kentucky, and, uh, and I, I love being back where I came from. Thank you. I, I got so much inspiration from, from my parents growing up. Mom, I was born on a Sunday. The following Sunday, she had me held tightly beside a hymnal at Walnut Grove Missionary Baptist Church. On the way there, we were listening to 90s country on the radio, on the way back, we're listening to the NASCAR race. We get home. I told y'all earlier, Dad's probably drinking a little bit of beer and working on a semi-truck or some old beater car he's traded for, and he's wanting me to come out there and help him get grease all over my bologna sandwich. Um, but he was listening to a lot of classic rock and southern rock and, and R&B and Motown stuff. and So I got this awesome blend of all this different music from my mom and from my dad, and, and I got my love for singing from my mom, definitely. She's one of the most beautiful voices that I've ever heard in my life, and my, my love for lyrics from my pops. We would just go right around, and he would just make me listen to what they were saying, and a lot of Steve Earle on those rides, a lot of Steve Earle, um, John Fogarty, but I, I just fell in love with, with lyrics, and so thank you guys because, I mean, I get to do this now. It's pretty cool. Um. Mm -hmm. 
But I cut my teeth listening to those songs in, in the passenger seat of some old Freightliner or Peterbilt or Kenworth or something. And it seems like the road has always been a friend of mine and an arch nemesis, similar to my pops. <laughs> That's what he told me one time, and it's uh, and so he sent me a voice memo of that to remind me, and, and I actually put it on the record on this song I'm about to play you. My favorite song on this album, and as I told you before, I tried to be honest in all these songs, but sometimes you got to change things to make it rhyme. But with this song, I just laid it out and talked about being a kid and having a parent that's out on the road and gone a lot. And at first I was kind of singing his praises. And I got to the second verse and was kind of calling him out. And then I got to the bridge and I was like, oh, crap, I'm just like him. There's a lot of similarities I found out here on the road doing what I'm doing. So what he was doing and realizing the sacrifice that you make to, to do something that you love to do. But also got to have the most beautiful singer that I've ever heard sing on this song with me. As I said, my mama, she came in and sang. At my house, actually, we sang this song together for the record. She sang harmonies with me. So thank you for doing that, mama. It's called Miles. Spray a little ether in the breather and hope she cranks. Pour a little folders from the thermos and take a drink. Hard pack them Marlboro Reds. Check the oil and the recap treads. Little rock and roller on the radio. You're gonna miss your boys, but it's time to go. Put 18 hours on 18 wheels with little white pills nipping at your heels. Like some outlaw asphalt cowboy. Riding high till you run out, it's an uphill battle just gearing down. Trying to get somewhere on a road that just don't end. Racing time and losing miles, you'll never get back again. Little boy wishing he was fishing in his dreams. Never got to know you too good, now he says things he don't mean. You couldn't make a good thing last, I always had to go so fast. But age caught up, slowed you down, and the days they just fly by now. Like 18 hours on 18 wheels With little white pills nipping at your heels Like some outlaw asphalt cowboy in the wind Riding high till you run out It's an uphill battle just gearing down Trying to get somewhere on the road that just don't end Racing time and losing miles, you'll never get back again. Whoa. Whoa. Well, this cat in the cradle never got a silver spoon. Now I run the roads just like you. There's cities between her and me and her real life. Man, I swear that it feels like 18 hours on 18 wheels. With little white fields nipping at my heels. Like some outlaw asphalt cowboy in the wind. Riding high till I run out. It's an uphill battle just gearing. Trying to get somewhere on the road to just
just don't end Racing time and losing miles I'll never get back again Whoa Staying on family and country music, which I believe, you know, it's a big thing with country music. America, God, family, hard times, good times, it's all in there. And I was having some really rough times in life when I, when I met Mandy and uh, needed some reasons to make some changes. And she let me know that she had a five-year-old little boy, and I thought, man, that's two big reasons to make some changes because I knew that there was something about this girl, mostly because she was she was way too pretty for me, and she was talking to me, and that didn't make a lot of sense to me, so I was like, well, I better do something or this is going to get away from me. But uh, So I, I, w I did that night. I, I started making some very drastic changes in my life, and I became a stepfather a year later, and... Man, that's, that's a tough job sometimes, stepping in. I would imagine every time for anybody who's ever been there, stepping in to that role. And there's some obstacles that you got to overcome. When I wrote this song, it was from a place of hope because Caleb was very young. And I wanted to write a song with my friends after we decided to write it. I wanted this song to be something that he could go back to later on in life when he really understood the words and know my intentions coming into his life. So I wrote this song, and it's changed my life. If you've streamed it, shared it on social media, turned it up when it came on the radio, whatever you, you've done to be a part of, of this song, getting where it's gotten to and, and touching multiple people and a multitude of people at this point. It used to be my song, and I feel like it's a lot of other people's now. But thank you from the bottom of my heart. You've changed my life. You've changed my family's life. We appreciate you. It's called My Boy. my smile that don't bother me a bit he's got somebody else's eyes I'm seeing myself in I'm holding on to every moment God knows I missed a few the day we met I knew I had some catching up to do he ain't my blood, ain't got my name But if he did, I'd feel the same I wasn't there for his first steps But I ain't missed a ball game yet And that ain't ever gonna change I can never walk away Yeah, he's my son and that's my choice He ain't my blood, but he's my, he's my boy Hit me like a train First time he called me dad In a three stick figure crayon picture With all of us holding hands His mama said I understand If it's too soon for this I didn't let her finish I took it to the kitchen And I stuck it on the fridge yeah. He ain't my blood, ain't got my name But if he did, I'd feel the same I wasn't there for his first steps But I ain't missed a ball game yet And that ain't ever gonna change I can never walk away Yeah, he's my son and that's my choice He ain't my blood, but he's my, he's my boy We wrote that song almost six years ago now. Uh, me and three buddies, Nick Columbia, Lee Starr, Russell Sutton. Uh, we None of us had anything going on. We had all met each other at a bar. And a friend of mine's stepmom had sent me a post on Facebook one night 
that said, I don't have a stepson, I have a son that was born before I met him. And I was like, man, I really resonate with that. And we got to talking about it. We weren't even supposed to be writing that night, I don't think. But we started talking about maybe writing a song. And Nick looked at me and said, tell me about your son. And I was like, well, dude, he's my boy. And I started to say more. He said, stop, man, let's just write that. So we did, and uh, been playing it for years and just hoping that it would touch people like it's touched me over the years. And it got out in the world, and then I realized, man, we have screwed up royally for a lot of people with this song. And so I got back in the studio, and, and I did a version to try and fix that for that particular group of people. She Saturday morning cartoons. She's aching to sleep in your room. She's bigger than the plans I had. She's making me a better man. She ain't my blood, ain't got my name. But if she did, I'd feel the same. I wasn't there for her first steps, but I ain't missed a ball game yet. And that ain't ever gonna change. I can never walk away Yeah, she's my baby My whole world She ain't my blood But she's my She's my girl Yeah, he's my 